Good morning everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I have gone up to my rooftop garden and I came across a beautiful branch of fresh spinach. And then the first thing that, that came to my mind was to make a creamy spinach paneer for you all. So it is paneer and cream and spinach going together to give you that real feeling of palak paneer in a creamy way. So here I have a fresh branch of, a bunch of uh, uh, spinach or palak. I have taken here around 150 grams of paneer which I have cubed. This you can vary according to your like the, the shape that is. I need some turmeric and the basic ingredients like I need some paneer, uh, sorry, some cream and a cup of milk and here I have taken two medium sized onions which I have very thinly sliced very thinly chopped you can see one uh, chili of course I, I think I need to use half of it it's very very spicy and here are four pots of garlic apart from that I also need one teaspoon of uh, red chili or Kashmiri red chili one and a half teaspoon of cumin powder or jeera powder and a small pinch of garam masala so first thing first what we need to do now is that I just want to make my life easy and instead of wasting my time in boiling uh, in a pan uh, the spinach I'm just going to put it in the pressure cooker and give it just one whistle so what I'm going to do is that put the entire thing like this itself into the pressure cooker right so it's like you know we're going to have it in a ziffy we don't need much time when we do it and still we can have delicious creamy palette paneer right so that is what will go in Apart from that, I will just put in the pods of garlic and I guess I need to put half of the chili but if you want you can put all of it because just to take, I don't want to take any risk so I am putting in half a uh, chili and some water, little water okay and then of course some salt and I will let it go for one whistle so that we can have it ready so just uh, one teaspoon of salt that I have given here okay so now I am going to give it just one pressure one whistle or one pressure so that's it so we will wait for this to get the whistle out proclaiming that it's ready to go in to make that creamy palak paneer so while that's cooking up waiting for that one whistle we will take the paneer and then just let it soak in boiling water for some time so that it will become soft and spongy not spongy I guess but soft very soft and it will melt in your mouth just like any um, just like the creamy palak that we will just use it now so we are waiting for that we are keeping this to really become soft and then we will go about now that's out from the pressure cooker and ready to go into the mixie so that we can have a nice and fine paste to use in our curry. And in fact I've already put the karai up so that we are ready to go. So the karai is heated. We already have the paste of the palak or the spinach. And now we'll put in say one and say two teaspoons of any vegetable oil. I have used a rice bran oil. And of course some desi ghee just for the flavor of it we will put in some desi ghee as well and then say one small teaspoon of desi ghee that's heating up now we have to go about doing the other things like for instance we are going to put in the onion fry the onion for some time Till it gets brown uh, in a way slightly brownish we normally keep the onion very very small so that it doesn't get onto our tongue when you're eating it and the creaminess doesn't get dissolved so we are having it very small and small chopped pieces as small as you can make them okay. we already have given the um, the un garlic pieces garlic pods 
in the mixy with the because I boiled that so we do not put any more garlic here now so we just you know, fry the onions till they are a little cre creamy sort of and caramelized and then we put in the haldi one small teaspoon of haldi powder okay and then of course we are also going to put in the other two this is the red chili kashmir red mirch and the cumin powder or the jeera powder then nice whisk there a nice uh, stir there okay just to check it doesn't stick on to the bottom give it a nice stir and then we do not have to burn it we have to be very careful now we'll put in the mix this stuff this is it and instead of putting put in water I'll put some milk here I'm using milk in the mixy to scrap out everything that's there give it a nice whisk and then put in everything from the mixy into the kadai so we have it here nice creamy mixture as you can see let it come to the first boil and then we will go about and put the pieces of paneer which are softening there by by the side so we let it steam for uh, let it cook for some time for the first boil and then we will go about meanwhile i just put a cover for 2 minutes or so so that it fastens up the process now it's two minutes. Let's see how this looks. See, it's boiling beautifully. And we have this nice color, light green sort of color that's coming up. And now is the time when you can put in your pieces of paneer. You can decide on the amount of paneer you want to put in. You can always change that. I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not frying the paneer pieces. And I'm keeping it like this. And because I put in the warm, sorry, boiling water, they must be very, very soft till now. So we'll again let it boil for some time, just some time, otherwise it will become very, very thick. So uh, this particular dish looks or feels good or tastes good if it is, you know, a little thick gravy, which you can have with your parathas or you can have with uh, pulkas. And of course, my son loves it even with steamed rice because steam rice really takes out all the flavor of every dish every flavor of every dish so we'll wait for just one or two minutes and then we'll check for one thing we haven't done we haven't put the salt so let's but one we also need to remember when i had boiled the spinach i had put a lot of i mean the amount of salt needed i'd already put so let's see we'll have to taste that and then check on the amount of salt that we go in while i was talking to you this is ready it must be yes see it's ready it's ready see we have the red and the green and the white and the beautiful green color it feels yummy already let's see how it will taste so we'll just reduce the flame a bit and then put in the cream first then we'll check the put in the i normally use uh, amul cream just because I have to I think because it's easier available you can use any any cream or you may avoid the cream but because it's creamy we will always try to use the I put away the water and that's remaining that's remaining this I guess yes I think that's fine not much so the white will merge see it's I always feel like food is like you know painting a picture making food right so let it again heat up I'll increase the flame a bit and it's heating up and then we will go for the tasting the salt so now it's already heated up you can see it's almost sticking on a little to the uh, to the base there let's check for the salt reduce the flame it will become too uh, thick otherwise It's yummy. It's a little spicy also because of that half uh, 
but the salt is necessary. And a little more. While that's mixing the salt in all its green glory, let me taste it once again. Be careful, it's very hot. Talking about spinach out from the pan. It's like heaven. Now I have to give one more thing, that's the garam masala. So I'll put that and we are ready. So everything is done and the pinch of garam masala. It's a homemade garam masala, sometime I'll take, tell you the recipe. So I just need a pinch of it, it's very strong that way. So I'll just put a pinch of garam masala and I'll just stir in the entire thing properly. So that's mixed and then just one. Uh, boil it's already boiling anyway so in a way this is your creamy that's melting in the mouth sort of a palak paneer or creamy spinach paneer speciality of every Indian house I guess but this is the way I cook it I just wanted to share it with you all let me first dish it out and I hope you enjoy this recipe so it's ready my dish of creamy spinach paneer you look at the way it looks it really tastes yummy check out how beautiful it looks and it feels in your tongue do try out this recipe and this is my dish of creamy palak paneer for you ready to be eaten and gobbled down do give a like if you like my recipe and subscribe to my channel if you still haven't